swim, bike, and run yourself fit by training for a triathlon. Now, training simultaneously and competing for three different sports is quite intimidating. However, don't let intimidating thoughts prevent you from trying. You can get an excellent quality workout in a short amount of time without sacrificing your entire day by planning your training sessions. And you can easily do this by incorporating the total gym. You can get efficient and effective workouts and great results. So if you don't have the time to take your training outdoors on the course, bring your workout indoors and use the total gym and some great accessories. So we'll use the cables by attaching them to the top of the glide board and that'll help simulate the swimming exercises. You'll also use the step, which will help rebounding and help train drills for running. And then you have the cyclone trainer, which easily, easily attaches to the base of your total gym and that'll help simulate some great cycling exercises. Now a combination of all of these will be the perfect combination to incorporate into your training whenever you have minimal time and you really wanna maximize your results for your next triathlon. So I've created a trifecta workout using these three accessories on your total gem. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that workout. The trifecta workout incorporates different drills for swimming, biking, and running. All of the exercises are performed in circuit interval format. So you can perform them for a set amount of reps or for a set period of time. Now I'm gonna suggest doing it for time so that you can increase that time each workout. Now all of these exercises are grouped into their categories. However, you can interchange them and perform your own circuit by incorporating the drills. So the first set of exercises we'll go over are for running. So you're gonna attach your step to the bottom base, have your incline at a high level. Now your incline can also be accommodated to adjust for your strength level and make sure that you progress whenever you need the challenge. So you're gonna come down to a supine position, feet are on the step, and the first exercise is just running. So you're gonna to start to move the body into a nice jog. Now as you do this, you wanna to try to get the knees up as high as you can, keep your core engaged. You wanna make sure that you stay at the bottom of the glide board, and I like to cut my hands easily at the end of that glide board. So make sure you get your knees nice and high, keep your core engaged. And you'll do this for 30 seconds for the first set, 45 for the second, and 60 seconds for the last set. Then you're gonna come into a low position for sprint. So you wanna stay as low as you can, and you can change the angle by turning your knees to the side and to the other side, and that'll help strengthen the lateral part of your body as well. So again, you can perform that for a set period of time, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, one minute, and increase from there. And then the last exercise you're going to do are bicycle crunches. So as you do this, you wanna lift your torso up, rotate your body to the opposite knee, land nice and lightly so you're engaging your core while you're using your lower body. Now in between these sets, whenever you're recovering, you'll recover for 30 seconds, maybe 15 seconds, and you just take it into a nice little jog or maybe even a nice little hop. And as you can see, my heart rate is already up. <laughs> Next, we'll move into the swimming exercises. So you'll attach the cable and lower the incline to accommodate your strength level. But be sure to progress whenever you need the challenge. So I like to come to a kneeling position for back flies. Otherwise, you can stay seated. So for the back flies, you keep your chest lifted, torso is nice and long. You're gonna open the arms out to the side. Then you can always change the angle with the arms lower or higher. You just wanna make sure that you're really strengthening the back part of the body, upper, middle, and lower. Then you'll turn it around and do the opposite, chest flies. So again, you can take it from a kneeling position or you can sit with your legs long or wrapped around to the side of the glide board. And you perform the same thing, chest flies. You can vary the angle from high, medium, or low just to target all different angles of the chest. It's so important to have upper body strength since your body's really working hard for the cardio portion of a triathlon. The next exercise is breast strokes. So you come down to a supine position, extend out through the arms and bring your legs up into a tabletop position. You're going to circle the arms and the legs at the same time. So keep your feet together and the legs will circle as the arms circle. Lifting your chest and your torso up will help accommodate more upper body as well as torso strength. And the last exercise is a freestyle or back extension sweeps. So you're gonna come down to a prone position, 
bring your arms out in front of you with the legs out long. And you're just gonna start to paddle the arms, keeping the body nice and lifted in the upper torso. But you also wanna keep the glide board stable. So this will help simulate swimming. You can also add the kick so that it can mimic the body and work in all position. You can also work on that coordination. And if this is too challenging at first, you can do the arms both at the same time, lift the torso up and extend up through the arms. So this will challenge the entire posterior chain of the body, upper, middle, and lower back, as well as through your glutes and hamstrings. Now those exercises can be performed for sets, or you can change it up by doing a pyramid set or a drop set. Now, if you do the drop set, you would start with the incline at the highest level that your body can handle to perform the exercise. Perform as many as you possibly can. Once your body fatigues, you lower the incline to another level. Perform again as many as you possibly can, and then take it down one more level. So you'll do three drop sets to really fatigue the muscle and really challenge it. And you can also do it in reverse, which is a pyramid set. So you start out nice and low, you might do a lot of reps, and then you raise it up. Your body's already fatigued, you perform the same exercise or the drill. Once you can't perform anymore, you take it up to the highest level and see how many reps you can get. The final drills for the trifecta workout incorporate cycling. So you'll attach your cycle trainer to the bottom base of your total gym and you'll change the incline to a higher level to really challenge your body. Go ahead and place your feet into the straps. Carefully lie down to a supine position. And I like to cup the bottom of that glide board so that I'm not slipping. So as I'm doing this, I just start to move the legs. Now you can do this in timed intervals for one minute, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, and I like to do 30 seconds recovery. So on those sprints, you'll pick up your pace and go as fast as you possibly can. Well, after the timed interval, go nice and easy back into your resting position. And then whenever you're ready to go again, the timer's on and you can let those legs go. You can also take it to a high low. So on the high, your body's recovering. On the low, it's go time. So you keep your body as low as you possibly can. You can lift your body up to really activate through the core and try not to move the glide board or have any type of balancing effect. After the timed interval, you can extend the legs into a higher position to recover them. And then you'll be ready to go again. You can also take this into just a constant steady state. So if you really just wanna go for a set period of time, just pedal the legs and let your body go for the amount of time that you need to train your body. So this is a, such a great way to incorporate cycling indoors using the cycle trainer on your total gym. As you can see, the Total Gym is an effective and efficient training tool that you can use in the comfort of your own home. So if you can't get out there on the course to train for your next triathlon, bring it indoors and train in the comfort of your own home. This will help banish all of your race intimidations and prep for the big race so that you achieve greatness on all platforms. So good luck training for your next triathlon adventure.